You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I ought to... Hello and welcome back to Grim Fandango. At the last episode we... We went to a mass poisoning, but we were late and we had a rubbish client. So we, we got told by our boss that we have to get a get a better client by the end of the week or we're out of here, out on our asses. We have no food, not that we need food because we're a skeleton. But we do have to, we do get to keep our suit. So let's talk to uh, Eva here. Hmm. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino oh, came dear. back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Oh, well, at least you don't work for one. <laughs> you know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. <laughs> Grow up, darling. Oh, dear. Uh, any messages for any me? Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I Aww. don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. <laughs> All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Um. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you. You used to Don be Cole. a top salesman. Something's going wrong. Dear, dear. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? What I know you take about? memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? <laughs> Uh, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, why, why aren't you visiting, visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone getting all the good leads. That, too. That's true. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Oh, dear. Okay, well I'm gonna go. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. I will. Damn bricks. Let's see what's uh, what's going on. Let's, can I get into my office? Oh, I can get into Domino's office now. Looks open. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, Domino. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So. So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. Yeah? For what? For trains. Oh, you got a number nine. Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. <laughs> say, how'd you score? Uh, I got two nuns. I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. Oh, no. Um, I want to punch you in the mouth. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party <laughs> all over again. Okay. 
I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Very clever. Why do you get all the good clients? Why do you get all the yeah. good clients? Question. You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Oh dear. Um. What hmm. did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Okay, I'm... Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Yeah. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can okay. handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. Okay, that'll do. Well, <laughs> see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Talk to Domino for a bit. What else is in here? And then I can steal from his room. <laughs> Let's pinch some of this. Oh, yeah. Yum. Let's have another one. <laughs> one more for luck. Oh, lovely. Right, anything in here? He's got a lock on it. Got a lock Can't on believe it. he doesn't trust me. Hey, get out drawer. of there, Calavera. Ah, uh, damn it. Hey, Dom, what's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Okay, not much I can do in here while he's here. So let's get out and go back to our own office. Anything we can do in here? Can we use this tube? Any messages? No. <laughs> not one. Now, we're going to go and head outside again, I think. Go down here. Ooh. Come on, get in the lift. Uh, there we go. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, ah, there we go. That door's open you now. You want your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, Ooh. sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Oh dear. Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? No. Huh? You think you're better than me? No. No. Good. Silly demon. So he's left this room, the door open. Let's go and check it out. What's in here? Uh. Ah, it's the tube switcher. This is what sends all the messages. There's a fire extinguisher as well. We'll take that. What else uh, am I doing here? Not much. This door looks very big. With what? Oh well. Let's go and check out the other room. Hello, let me out. There we go. Um. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. Jeez. Okay, there's something in this room, I think. Ah, this is where the gunk is. So now, I'm going to get those uh, dead worms. And I'm going to fill one with each of these things. Bloop, 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 bloop. That's one. <laughs> you can fit an awful lot of stuff in his uh, in his suit. Need the other dead worm. There we go. And we'll use it on the blue one. Now <laughs> we're gonna piss off that poor little uh, well, poor massive demon by putting them into the message tubes. <laughs> This is a. Uh, this is gonna make him very angry. So we'll just go to our office and put those gunk-filled balloons into the into the message tube, and then the tube switcher will get all bunged up. Oh my God, it's brilliant. Here we 
go. Uh, okay, first one. There we go. <laughs> In you get. <laughs> Look out below. <laughs> oh dear. Now we put the second one in. Bloop, bloop. Uh oh. No. That screwed up the tune switcher. Doesn't sound good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Dear me. Not at all. So we'll go back down there, and that demon will be very Server's unhappy. Server's down again. What else is new? Oh, let me in the bloody lift, jeez. <laughs> okay. So we get to the server room. Which is this way? Yep. Oh, in first time. No, he's in there. He's not happy. So we can lock the door. The wheel won't budge. There we go. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Fight. <laughs> Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. <laughs> See how they like that? That would be horrible. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. Oh dear. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. Oh no. Uh, who would do a terrible thing? Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. <laughs> just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, <laughs> just like you. Um, What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit. Yeah. Summoned from the land of the dead itself. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors <laughs> and put me out of work. Oh well. well I got a split. I got a split. Yeah. Has he fixed it yet? God, he got all that gunk out pretty quick, didn't he? He's a genius. Oh, not again. oh no, he's on fire. I got a fire extinguisher. Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound <gasps> fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle yeah. out of here. That's good to what? Know. Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. <laughs> good point, good point. Can we... So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. Of course. So how long is it going to be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Hours? Well, so no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. <laughs> You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Yes, Say, you do. Uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Is he done yet? Come on. I guess I'll leave. Hopefully he'll be finished soon. There we go. Okay, there it goes. Good enough for government work. See, if I hadn't locked the door, he, when he closes it now, I'd have to do all that again, get the balloons, fill them up with stuff, because I'd have to get him to go in there again, because I need to get in there. But I could do that. Now that I've locked it, I can go back in, and then I can steal the messages. Yeah, get some good it's clients. Held in place by the weight of the door. Come on. 
Here we go. Now what you need to do is put a uh, put a card it's in locked. there. I knew where to put one somewhere. I remember now. So we put our punch whole punch card in, and it will uh, stop the message. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada. Aha, positive attributes. Volunteered time reading stories to dying children. Oh, there we That's go. Good. That's really good. It's gonna get I her. You read Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. That'll be a good client. Sell her a ticket on the number nine. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? <laughs> that was a company car. Yeah, oh, look yeah. at the car. And it's even better company now. Hell I'm yeah. In. <laughs> oh yeah! That's gonna be the next. Bye bye, Domino. Bye bye. Hello. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse. No. You're not here to give me my medication. No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was... I'm not sure I like the implication, <laughs> Mr. Calavera. Oh dear, so her ticket for number nine isn't available. Oh, what do we do? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Yes. Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Aww. <laughs> hmm. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy <laughs> bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. <laughs> okay. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse Let's go straighten this out. But I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble. But please, call me Manny. Poor woman. She's been good all her life and now she's gonna get crap all. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. So who do we need to talk to? Ah, there's hey, Dom. Funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, 15 sir. minutes she ago? She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? Yeah. She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself oh through no. the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. 
get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Oh no! We're trapped! Oh, we're in prison! Oh, it's terrible! What's this? It's gloopy. Ugh. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Gross. So, oh god, that's terrible, isn't it? We've got, we've got to go and find that poor woman, bring her back, and get her a ticket on number nine. Oof. So yeah, next time, next time.